Hello lovelies, T here and it's time for a DIY candy kit. Today we're going to be making a crazy happy kitchen cake kit and this one as you can see requires a microwave. So we're going to be cooking what I believe will taste like a cake but in teeny tiny miniature version. On the back again, instructions in Japanese that I still cannot read but we're getting pretty good at figuring out how to use the container, what the colors mean based on the pictures. And here we have our little diagram of the microwave. I believe that means that we need to cook to the side of the little spinning tray thing, or you can cook in the middle of your microwave if you don't have the spinning tray thing. At the end of it all, ta-da, that's what we'll get. And I just realized my nails kind of match the package. <laughs> I'm such a geek, but I didn't actually do that on purpose. That was just a happy coincidence. So anyway. <laughs> Inside we have our cute little package. Oh my goodness, that is adorable. And there's oh, a little fork and a little knife. So this, oh, this is like a little doily. That's cute. There's our cute little placemat. There's no folding or taping for this one. It's just a nice cut out little mat. And then inside, is the tray with our yellow package. Mm, feels powdery, but I think that might be the vanilla frosting. Orange, yeah, I don't know what that is. We'll find out. Pink, I would guess this is something, maybe strawberry frosting. Red, I think this makes, I think there's little, little candies. I think that's what this one makes. Speaking of little candies, there's some little decorations, little candy balls. Our baggie for frosting. Spoon for mixing, scooping, stirring, and our tray. Oh yes, that I believe is going to be the mold for, uh, looks like strawberry shaped candies. Okay, so I've cut off this corner for our little water scoop. And then this is kind of awkward, but I've cut this out as well. I'm pretty sure that's what it shows in the directions. Okay, first step is this orangey yellow packet. And this, I believe, gets dumped into the large container like so and it gets two scoops one two and mix next step is the decidedly orangier orange package and it goes there we go, into the smaller compartment of our container. It gets one scoop of water. Our two cake molds are full. It looks like we're just making vanilla cakes with this particular kit. Uh, now it's time to microwave. Just before I start, I just wanted to show you guys, see the, the tray here is to the edge of the spinny do. If I didn't have the spinny do, then I could put it right in the center. But they suggest putting it here if it rotates. So that's what I will do. And let's try 20 seconds to start with. Here it goes, around and around and around, just cooks. So exciting. That actually might have been enough time. Ooh, that's hot. Okay, so the cakes are a little spongy, fairly firm, and not at all soupy. I think 20 seconds in my microwave was enough. Before I take them out though, I'm gonna let them cool a little bit because I don't want to, um, I don't want to tear these things to pieces if I take them out when they're too hot. So we'll set that aside to cool for a little bit and then we'll move on to, oh, I need something to mix in. Okay. We wait for a little bit. Okay, these cakes are still kind of warm, but they're cool enough to take out. As you can see, I successfully, ta-da, took out the big one. And to get them out, I just took my spoon and gently scraped around the sides with my spoon to ease out the cake. And then flip it over, kind of tap on the top a little, and ta-da, out she comes. Now that I have my container back, 
we're going to mix and it looks like I need the little red package first and little red package goes in there and gets one scoop and a mix And when it's all mixed, you can't really see any graininess anymore. It looks like it's all pretty well mixed in. This is kind of like mixing jello. And then you put it in there. Okay, that was a lot more fiddly than I expected. And next to impossible to do <laughs> around the camera. So that's why I had to stop for a little bit. But ta-da! We'll just set that aside and let it firm up. And the next instruction is for the blue package goes in and gets two scoops of water. One, two, and a mix. Mmm, smells like vanilla up in here. So that's come together nicely and thickened up, and yes, that is frosting consistency and smells so good. Now we have a pink package to mix, and the instructions show mixing the pink package right now but I have no more containers to mix it in. I feel like living dangerously. So I'm gonna take my pink package and add it right into this container with the strawberry goo. I'm sure it'll be tasty. It all smells delicious right up in here. Okay, that gets one scoop of water. And, oh, gotta clean my spoon first. Mmm, yummo. I don't know if you can see, but the color of the strawberry frosting on the package looks an awful lot like the strawberry frosting I have just made. Maybe you are supposed to mix it. So then this needs to get put in here. Okay, so here's our strawberry goo in our little frosting bag. And then we're going to cut the teeniest little tip at the end. So our goo comes out the bottom. You're supposed to be able to cut these cakes in half to get two cakes. My cakes didn't rise very much. Maybe I should have cooked them longer. But either way, it's just me tonight munching on these cakes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make one. It's still gonna be pretty. And okay, so first things first. Actually, it only shows making one in the actual directions. So we'll take a scoop of frosting, put it on the bigger half of our cake, spread it out, plop on the second tier. Now I'm just going to glop this on and spread it out. Once again, awkward camera angle. I'm going to pretty up this, um, the first coat of frosting and uh, I'll be right back. Oh yeah, that is sexy right there. Let's get all fancy schmancy pantsy with the pink. I think we'll do some... Oh, so pretty. I'm just going to line the top of the cake. And maybe put a circle right on the top. These have got to be set by now. Let's see. Oh, perfect. That works well. Let's do something like this, maybe. Oh, shabam. That works really well. Kind of flower-esque, I guess. Okay, then we'll add these bad boys. Maybe put a couple black ones right in the middle. Turn it into a flower. Oh yeah, that's pretty right there. And then we got some yellow ones. Maybe put them along the scallops. I understand why people use chopsticks. That is fiddly. Voila! There's my beautiful little cake. Oh, it's so pretty. Let's cut a slice. And I'm loving these utensils. It's a spoon, it's a scoop, it's a spatula thingy, it's a knife. 
it's everything you need it to be. Okay, there's my little slice. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Oh, that is really, really good. Mm-hmm. -hmm. I'll grab another one. Try some of these candy balls. That is really good. Vanilla cake, and um, you can taste the, the strawberry and the frosting. Mmm. Vanilla frosting, too. Yum. Oh, ooh. Those are like chocolate candy balls. I think there's a bubblegum one in there, too. So many flavors. It's like a party in my mouth. I'm going to devour the rest of it. But before I do, anybody who knows me knows I don't like to waste candy. So we're going to go from beautiful to <laughs> monstrosity. And then the rest of the candy balls. Still cute, if you ask me. All right. So the crazy Happy Kitchen cake candy set gets a thumbs up from me. Uh, just before I go and finish off my om noms, I wanted to say thank you guys for watching. I hope you had as much fun as I did. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. There's plenty of shenanigans coming. Uh, yeah, otherwise, this cake is calling my name and I must answer. So uh, until next time, bye. <laughs>